Hello, I'm Dave Llewellyn. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Former Detroit City Councilman Kwame Kenyatta has passed away. The outspoken politician resigned from office in 2013 after serving nearly two terms. Before that, he was on the school board and the Wayne County Commission. Mayor Mike Duggan says Kenyatta fought hard for what he believed in and made our city a better place. Records say Kwame Kenyatta was 63 years old. Police and the FBI dug up several graves at the Knollwood Cemetery in Canton. We're told the remains were exhumed to try and identify unknown victims through new DNA technology. The investigation, known as Operation United, focuses on victims of homicide dating back nearly 60 years. The reward for information leading to the arrest of a dog killer is doubled to $5,000. The German Shepherd was hanged and shot on Detroit's east side. The Michigan Humane Society says an anonymous donor put up $2,500 to double the reward. Crime Stoppers is taking tips at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth now with a check of your 7 First Alert forecast. Thursday in the morning, you might run into some trouble, some heavier rain that could slow down the rush hour a little bit. 7 to 10 is kind of the focus there. I think it's all done by midnight or noon at the very latest. And then we get a peak of sun in the afternoon, 80 for the second half of the day, so it's warming up. 73 Friday, much of the day is dry. There could be a shower late in the day. Saturday's probably pretty wet to start the holiday weekend, but less chance for rain on Sunday. And Monday, temperatures are not a problem. All right, Dave, thanks. It's official. Jawan Howard is headed back to Ann Arbor. Former member of the Wolverines Fab Five will replace John Beeline as University of Michigan new head basketball coach. Howard previously served as an assistant for the Miami Heat in the NBA following his long professional career. Those are your headlines. Remember, go to WXYZ.com and our app for news anytime. Have a great day.